Hello Newtonians! Welcome to the required skills for mechanical design engineers video series. In this series, we're zeroing in on 8 key skills every mechanical design engineer needs to excel. Dive into individual videos for focused insights, or watch our all-in-one video for the full rundown. The skills listed here are based on my opinion and experience. Mechanical Engineering Knowledge The first one, of course, is knowledge of mechanical engineering. I am pretty sure you are now thinking something like, no, Sherlock. While this one may seem that it is implied, there is a reason why I put this one as the first one. Your entrance to this position is probably a bachelor's or master's degree. I met many people who want to work on some high-level stuff without really understanding the basics of mechanical engineering. And I do not mean sit down and learn for exam understanding. I am talking about really understanding the governing principles behind mechanical engineering concepts. I am not implying that you should know all the concepts from the top of your head. You will, during your career, use some concepts more than the others. And those that you will use, you should learn and understand as much as possible. That will demand some work in your free time, but in the long run, the return on investment will be worth it. For example, you may or may not be familiar with the finite element method, FEM. The first lesson when I took this course was garbage in, garbage out. In order to properly obtain and understand the results of the finite element analysis, you should have a great understanding of mechanical engineering principles. You might not be a person that will conduct FEA in your company, but if you want to interpret the results, you still have to know the principles behind it. You do not want to be one of those people that open Autodesk Fusion 360 and take a CAD model, define some loads and constraints, generate a mesh and get the results. And then you tap yourself on the back, so proud that you managed to get the picture colored with as little red as possible. So basically, your knowledge of the topic comes from three places, your head, learning materials, and your network. You know something as long as you have one of these three things available. Tips on how to expand your mechanical engineering knowledge. My first advice for expanding your mechanical engineering knowledge is to invest time in finding the books, websites, and courses that could give you the necessary answers and knowledge. If it requires money, spend as much as you can possibly afford. There is no greater investment than investing in yourself. I spent a great amount of money on the proper learning materials, and it all paid off. The second piece of advice is to network with the people whose strengths are your weaknesses. Find out if there are any experts on the topics in question inside your company or your immediate circle of acquaintances. Furthermore, find out if there are any external consultants with whom your company is cooperating that are available to you. If any of these persons that you thought could help you cannot, there is a high probability that they could point you out in the direction of the person that could. So always ask a simple question, do you know someone that might be able to help me? Use a technique called product decomposition, basically, take any product laying around your house and disassemble them. Create freehand sketches of different components and assemblies. Think about the materials that could have been used to manufacture it, feel the surface finish below your fingers, and investigate interesting features on the components. Disassembling and assembling different products are also beneficial for your hand coordination, and you will get used to using different tools. Ask yourself if there is an easier way to assemble this product. Would you make any design changes to make it easier? How many standardized parts were used, and how many were not probably used? I believe that product decomposition is a great exercise that will improve your skills significantly. If you are working in a company that has in-house production capabilities, spend a lot of time in production talking with the assembly workers. Gather their experiences about the different products they assemble. In the end, you will design products that they will have to later on assemble. Look into the legacy products in your company, preferably get them physically in front of you. Analyze them and look into the engineering drawings. Then, whatever you do not know, or you just find it interesting, go into the production, if possible, and try to assemble it yourself. I could create a list of what you should focus on to learn, but I will say only this, learn how to make a proper engineering drawing. Do you have any questions for us? Let us know in the comments below. Do you like our videos? Then, give us a thumb up, comment, and share it with your friends, colleagues, and on your social media channels. And if you want to become a part of the Newtonians, make sure to subscribe to our channel.